it's still the same morning as last week's video, only something absolutely incredible has just happened. And I feel this is well worth a video on its own. I can't believe this. I'm going to go back to Kim five minutes ago to explain to you exactly what's just happened. But this is absolutely insane. I can't, this, oh my gosh. Photography is blowing my mind at the moment and I'm finding I'm photographing so many things that I've never thought of photographing before. Oh my gosh, this is, wow. I'm speechless, honestly. Wait till you see these images in a minute. My goodness, I cannot believe this. My video camera has helped me to see another absolutely phenomenal image opportunity. I'm just filming myself walking up and down this beautiful path here in between the marum grasses and the way that the sunlight is coming through is illuminating the tiny little drops of water on the grasses and they're twinkling in the sunlight and when you focus on the grass many of the water droplets become bokeh. It's so beautiful and I would never ever have thought of photographing this if it wasn't for my video camera. This is incredible. This is the third video now in the space of, what, six weeks? Something like that? That something like this has happened. Oh, wow. Sometimes creating YouTube videos has so many perks and being able to see the world in a new light through the video camera and then transmute that into imagery. It's just incredible. an idea of what I'm doing. I've got my 100 to 400 millimeter lens here. I've also taken some images using my 24 to 200. But ideally what I'm finding with this is you want some sort of telephoto lens so you can zoom into the scene and isolate a part of the scene that you like. There's no right or wrong way to do this because it's a so creative. So what I'm finding is I'm taking a combination of different types of images, some with the the grasses and the dew drops out of focus, given that beautiful bokeh effect. And I'm also creating some where I've got something in focus, like a shard of some of the grasses or something else that's within the grasses. And then you've got the, the bokeh around it. So I'm just playing around really to see what I can create. And I'm using the sun. I'm not looking directly at it, of course, because it's very bright, but I've got almost like a, a 40, 45 degree angle on the sun, which is allowing the, the grasses to sparkle and it's giving it that, that beauty and that, that light and it's illuminating them. And it's just, this is so exciting.
No, this creative style is definitely of great interest to me right now. And I'm just loving creating new things and noticing, you know, noticing these aspects of nature. Because when I look back to my traditional landscape photography days, I would have used this grass and this path as a leading line into the, the scene, into the sea or into the beach huts, but I would never have thought or even looked really at what was going on in and on the grasses. And uh, thanks to my beautiful video camera, it's allowed me to, to see this opportunity this morning that I otherwise wouldn't have seen. It's so beautiful. I mean, this to me is, is exciting me, is igniting me, is uh, fueling me. I mean, you can hopefully hear the, the energy and joy in my voice. And it's, it's interesting when you compare this week's video to last week's video and the fact that it was filmed only 20 minutes apart. The feeling that the sun is giving me, the new day, the new dawn, the new light, it's, it's, oh, it's amazing. I'm literally having the time of my life. <laughs> this is amazing. Do you know, I love it when you come down to somewhere so familiar to you. I mean, for those of you who have followed this channel for years, Findhorn is somewhere I've photographed from day one. It's probably the place that I've come to more than any other. And, you know, in the beginning, it was always looking for these landscape scenes and the same images over and over again. The beach huts, the groins, the crosses, the, 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 sh the, the pools of water, you know, things that I still enjoy photographing from time to time if the light is right, but then to come somewhere that you're so familiar with and see something new yet again, it's so exciting. And it, this has just been amazing connecting with it. And I'm trying now, there's these beautiful pink flowers nestled amongst the, the, the grasses here. I'm trying to find some that I can frame nicely with some of the bokeh and the light. Um, I don't think we're gonna have too much time left to to do this because the sun is rising quite uh, fast now so i'm just going to make the most of it while it's here and just embrace this moment this is just amazing oh i love seeing the world in new ways it's just so exciting you just never know what images you're going to create morning oh you know it's so lovely to get out early and be around at dawn see that pre-dawn light and interact with it and just embrace the beauty step back relax unwind as you would have seen in the last video and just watch the birds and the colors change and the sunrise and then respond to the beautiful golden light that comes out once the the sun comes above the horizon or above the clouds as was the case this morning and then to come and discover this opportunity here. You know, I've seen some beautiful dewdrop images in the past, but it's not something I've seen much of. It's not something I've found any inspiration from particularly. But this morning, experiencing this for myself and coming across it and interacting with it and connecting with it, it's been phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. I hope you found this video inspirational and it's maybe helped you to consider next time you go to a location that you know well. You know, most people don't have time, money, resources to travel. Though, and many people don't want to either. Or, you know, maybe you just love your local area or maybe you're struggling with your local area and you're looking for new opportunities. Whether you live in the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere, You'll be either coming into autumn or coming into spring. And both of those seasons are fantastic for dewdrops. So, you know, connecting with these in a more abstract way and looking at the ground and zooming into things, 
it can just open up a whole new world of photographic opportunities. You know, I seem to be finding something new every month at the moment, and it's exciting. But it just takes a little bit of a switch of mindset and a switch of thinking about the world differently. And as I mentioned, you know, my, my video camera has been a huge source of, of help for me in, in finding these new opportunities. But it gives me the chance to then photograph new things and share that experience with you, which hopefully will inspire you to, to see your local area and the locations you go to in a new light and see other opportunities that aren't always obvious, but they are always there. You know, I say it all the time, there's always photographic opportunities. You don't need to be in epic, dramatic, iconic locations. You don't even need to be at specific places. You know, this morning, I'm at a gorgeous beach, but a few months ago, I was on Orkney, which I appreciate is a stunning place for photography. But I took some photographs of the dewdrops on the grass in a car park. So literally, you don't have to be in beautiful, vast expanses of nature. You know, if you live in a town or even a city, if you're up at the right time and you go to the right spots, you can find things like dewdrops on the grass. It's accessible to everybody in, in many respects, of course, depending on your climate. But to many of you watching, there will be opportunities at some point to find and photograph dewdrops. And it's just such a wonderful thing to connect with. You know, let's, let's not see the barriers in photography. Let's see the opportunities. And your local area, no matter where you live, will have opportunities. And I know it's easy for me to say that because I live in literally this most incredible place. But I know it's true. I know there are opportunities everywhere because there's some incredible photographers who live in, in places that you wouldn't consider to be beautiful for nature photography and they find beauty on their doorstep. You can even do it in your garden if you're lucky enough to have one. Yeah, I just, I hope this video has been inspirational to you. It's been inspirational to me to see and photograph and connect with this. And uh, yeah, now that we're coming into autumn, there's gonna be opportunities for this very, very regularly. And it's, it's so, so fun to connect with. But yeah, what a fun morning. It's just been amazing. Two videos filmed, several photographs created, and it's only quarter to eight in the morning. Now I'm absolutely starving, so I think it's time to go home and have some breakfast. Well deserved this morning. Ah, oh, as always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all again next Sunday. <laughs>